Welcome back guys. This is one of two new tests that we'll be starting here very shortly with this one being the 1st of April and the other one starting the 1st of May. I tried to get both to start at the same time but I just simply did not have the time to make it happen. This test will focus on the latest spray coatings and sealants on the market, all of which are available to the public. So there are none that are considered professional only in this test. We're calling this the 23 way spray coatings test, which has 22 products and a control group. The first video is simply Simply going over what's in them, how hazardous they are, and other general information about each product. This test will likely be about a year long, and these products have about a week to fully cure inside of our shop before we go out and start washing them and putting the hood outside. Uh, this would be equivalent to your vehicle sitting in your garage for about a week after the install, but I'll get more to that later on. I always do these types of information videos for these tests because it's very important to me what potentially harmful chemicals you're dealing with in these products. Some have none, some have a lot. Manufacturers sometimes like to downplay this for obvious reasons, but fortunately I'm able to do my research along with getting all of the SDS for them. And if you don't know what that is, that's the safety data sheet. It shows you all of the harmful, if any, chemicals, if they're hazardous to aquatic life, hazardous to animals, hazardous to your airways, and so on. I'm of the opinion that although they're not legally required to disclose the SDS to consumers, that these companies sh should have these made available to the general public without having to dig for them. Some of these are very buried in their websites, but you are able to get about two thirds of them, which were made publicly available, while others I had to request via email, and I usually got a response and got the SDS from them the same or the next day. There are a couple others that either refused to send them to me or never responded back to me, and I'll let you know who those were as I go over each of the products in the video. So with that out of the way, let's jump right into it. I have 22 products. This will be sort of a long video. I'm gonna try to keep everything short and sweet. Let's go. First up, we have McKee's 37 SiO2 365 Ceramic Spray Coating. I've reached out to Palm Beach Motoring Group, who used to be the distributor. They're not anymore, which is RME Enterprises don't have anything to go on right now for an SDS. So therefore, McKee's 37 Hydrographene Ceramic Coating, the same rules apply there. Palm Beach Motoring Group or RME Enterprises, they no longer carry or distribute this, so they are not, they don't have an SDS. Next up, TAC Systems Quartz Max. This is advertised more than 5% SiO2. So jumping into the MSDS for this one, oral toxicity category four, highly damaging if you swallow it basically, but looking at the chemicals, dihydrogen monoxide, that's water, 92 to 93% water. You're gonna see a lot of these that have some type of silanes or silozanes, that's the silica, the part of the ceramic that you see, but this has methanol and kerosene in it inhalation if you get a, if you inhale a large amount of it it's damaging basically next up is wolfgang concourse uber ceramic spray coating this is also in the u.s at least it's distributed by palm beach motoring which is auto geek looking at the sds on this it has some pretty nasty stuff in it it's a you know irritation to your skin, reproductive toxicity. It's an aspiration hazard, but all albeit low, and it is very flammable. May be fatal if swallowed or enters airways. This is a mist spray. You definitely want to be careful with this one. This causes skin, eye irritation, and can damage fertility. So ingredients: octi octimethyl cyclotetracylazine and other things like that, petroleum distillates, that's a type of oil. So yeah, there's there's some pretty, pretty nasty stuff in this one. This was another subscriber request, Flitz Ceramic Sealant, made in USA. The SDS states that this is not considered hazardous, but it does cause skin irritation, eye irritation, Again, the eye irritation would be, it's a mist, it's gonna be in the air, but there is amino-modified polysilic polysilicone, silozane, ethylene glycol, small amount, but that's antifreeze in your car, 
ethanol, and then primarily water, 90 to 100% water. Shine Armor Graphene. Now this one, I had reached out to them multiple occasions. I finally got a response and they sent me an SDS, but when you look at the SDS, I think it's their original one, which is like the purple color, because when you see on the SDS, it describes what the liquid looks like, if it's colorless, if it's black, if it's purple. Well, this SDS says it's purple, so this is likely not the correct one. However, it's probably very similar with a little, about, with a little amount of graphite in it. So see, you see right there, it says, Appearance, purple. So that's why I think this is not the right SDS, so we're just gonna move on. Next up is White Diamond Diamond Coat. Purchased this at Walmart, and this is a apparently a fairly, fairly large company, so very easy to get the SDS when you go on their website. Everything's disclosed. Schultz Laboratories, very large company. Not considered classified, no hazardous, things other than it is toxic to aquatic life which means you don't want to spill any of this let it get down your sewers or something like that if you live in the city definitely don't want it to get into any bodies of water other than that nothing to really be concerned with with this product next up is zephyr pro 30 shine lock ceramic spray coating that is the company that makes the metal polishing products made in usa Ontario, California. The SDS looks like not a lot of issues other than flammable liquids category four. So it's extremely combustible, extremely flammable. Going down further, keep away from open flames, wear PPE. Isopropyl alcohol, one to 5% is the main hazardous chemical in it. If you inhale it, seek fresh air, however, Further down, it does say may cause skin, eye irritation, and wear a respirator. New finish graphene coating. This is an update to their standard spray coating that they came out with maybe six to eight months ago. Made by Energizer Brands, which is, yes, that's the battery company. It's owned by them now anyways. They purchased them, I believe, back in 2018. Some pretty nasty stuff in here. Toxic to your organs with repeated exposure, pretty flammable, adverse effects. The warnings may cause damage to organs or your nervous system through prolonged or repeated exposure. Don't breathe the fumes, mist, vapors, spray. Well, we have a spray, don't breathe it. <laughs> that means you need to wear a respirator if you were gonna follow the SDS here. Harmful to aquatic life with long lasting effects. So don't let it get in your drain, your sewer, anything like that. Petroleum distillates and a version of benzene, very toxic. And Griot's Garage Ceramic 3-in-1 Wax. We've tested this, I believe two other times. This is probably gonna be the final time we test this one, but it is and has proven itself to be a pretty good competitor amongst these others. Made in the U.S., you can pick it up at AutoZone, at least here in the U.S. Jumping into the SDS, let's see what we've got here. Reproductive toxicity, sensitive to your skin, organ toxicity. So basically, it can bother your skin, don't breathe the vapors, and it can be toxic to your body. Dimethyl silazane, fragrance, additive, and magnesium nitrate. Silazane is the primary ingredient you'd be after, so that's your silica and so on. Is it harmful to aquatic life? Let's see here. Not classified as harmful to aquatic life. Jeskar Ceramic Spray Wax. This is another subscriber request. I believe I bought this off of Amazon for somewhere around $17. Does have quite a few warnings on the back. Let's see what the SDS says. Balance is water, so mostly water, acrylic emulsion, and crystobalite, crystobalite. I don't know what that is, but less than 1% there. So it looks like just general, general precautions with this one. Nothing out of the ordinary. 
Adam's Graphene Ceramic Spray Advanced Spray Coating. This smells like straight jet fuel. It is extremely bothersome, at least to me, as far as like the smell. Like you would get a headache very quickly with this stuff. So looking at the SDS, it irritates your skin, aspiration hazard, which you really don't want in something that is gonna be a mist in the air, but it's flammable, combustible, fatal if swallowed, and enters your airways, causes skin irritation, causes eye damage. So this is some nasty stuff, and you're spraying it in the air. You're gonna inhale it, you're gonna get it in your eyes, you're gonna get it on your skin, unless you take proper precautions. Primarily decamethyl cyclopentacylazane, 55 to 70%, extremely flammable, petroleum distillates, and so on. So it is, it is some nasty stuff. Be very careful with this, especially as a spray. So straight from Adams to Sonax ceramic spray coating, which is sort of the complete other end of the spectrum. It has a pleasant odor, like a fruity smell, something like that. And so actually jumping into the SDS, it has no harmful chemicals, nothing. Not classified as a health hazard. OSHA doesn't define it as a hazard. It doesn't meet the criteria, has nothing in it to worry about. Of course, you still wouldn't want to drink it or anything like that, but it says if you inhale it or anything like that, move to fresh air, that's it. If you swallow it, don't induce vomiting, don't need hand protection, don't need anything else. It's not harmful to aquatic life. So really in a product for something like this, this is what you want to see. Next up we have G-Technic Marine, which is intended for a gel coat on a boat. However, several of you have requested that I test this on vehicle paint. So here it goes. The SDS causes says it causes skin irritation, eye irritation, category two. So not the worst, but not the best either as far as that goes. Amino functional fluid, that is a sili uh, silicone fluid as a beating agent, 10 to 14, 10 to 40% at the oxalated isoalcohols. So there's your alcohol, also alcohol and silicone. Looking further at it, if you breathe in the mist, move your move to fresh air may cause irritation to your respiratory system which again you don't really want that in a spray but there it is most importantly on something like this is it harmful to aquatic life since it's really intended to be used on a boat you definitely wouldn't want that because you're probably going to be applying it either in the water or near the water yeah it is not harmful to aquatic life next up is rainex graphene spray wax and it even says on the front of it, may irritate your eyes. That's it. May cause eye irritation. Has some other precautions on the back. Keep out of reach of children. Manufactured by ITW, which is Illinois Tool Works. They're a very large company. Classified as not hazardous by OSHA. Primary ingredient for that's hazardous, oct octamethyl cyclotetracylazine, so a small amount of SiO2, basically. No in inhalation issues, no medical issues. If you spill it, clean it up. That's it. So another one like Sonax, very minimally dangerous to you or to the environment. Wear eye face protection. That's basically the only the only precaution with this one. And next up is 303 graphene spray coating. We've tested this a few times, mainly because the first time I tested it, I think I had a bad batch and it lasted, lasted less than 30 days. It's supposed to last about a year. And I think in the other testing, we've got less than six months, but it is a flammable liquid and vapor. Keep out of reach of children, may be fatal if swallowed and enters airways. So again, this is gonna be a mist. You gotta be careful. If you ingest it, it can be pretty irritative. Petroleum distillates, 60 to 75%. So a lot of heavy oils in this one. That's what your, your beating agent is instead of 
SiO2 or something like that. So it's a, it's a spray coating, but not a lot of silica or anything like that according to what is listed here. Risk, uh, risk of lung edema. It is flammable. It is a fire hazard. Not classified as toxic. Not considered harmful to aquatic organisms or long-term effects on the environment. Avalon King SiO2 Boost Spray. Made in USA. You guys requested this. I have never used this. We're going to see how it holds up. So when I, when I reached out to Avalon King for the full SDS or MSDS, this is what they sent me. It's like a screenshot of a spreadsheet. So very little information. Doesn't disclose much anything else. Just says it's acute octopus. Uh, acute toxicity if ingested and how to, if you had a fire, how to extinguish it. Handling it, avoid contact with eyes, wash your hands. That's all it says. Next up is Black Rhino Boost. This is one of two Black Rhino products we're gonna be testing. A ton of you guys have requested their products. So without further ado, here they are. So instructions, pretty simple to use. They sent me, it's, they said that this product is an updated version of Speed Slick. So they sent me the SDS for the Speed Slick. So I guess or it would be a tweaked version of this product. So very similar. Resin solution, flammable, contains PTFE and silazanes. It is flammable. It can cause serious eye damage, organ toxicity, repeated exposure, and it will irritate your skin. Flammable liquid, ir eye irritation, organ irritation, skin irritation. Don't breathe the mist, vapors, or spray. So again, use some precautions with this stuff, like some of the others. 25 to 75% silazane, 1 to 10% graphene oxide, 1 to 10% antimony 10 oxide, 1 to 10% silane blend, and 1 to 10% PTFE. So... You have a lot of the combination of others. You have the, the metal oxide coatings, the PTFE coatings like Underdog. You have the SiO2s. Kind of a, this appears to be a mix of all of that. Next up is Soft 99 Trees Premium. It is all in Japanese, made in Japan. I bought this from Carzilla. I've reached out to Carzilla and I have not heard back from them about a SDS for this. It appears, just using Google Translate, it's supposed to last about three months or so and supposed to brighten it, brighten your finish, things like that. But I don't know what all is in it. 3D ceramic spray. I've reached out to 3D car care products and I have not heard back. They do have SDSs listed on their website, but they do not have one listed for this particular product. It acts, feels, smells very similar to the Adams graphene advanced coatings or the atom sprays it has very similar odor uh, i don't know if this is made through bnb &B blending which is atoms uh, again has a lot of similarities but i don't know that so this is my first experience using the 3d ceramic products gion can coat evo q2 i've reached out to them through their u.s distributor requesting the sds and they asked what I wanted it for. So I replied and I said, I test products on YouTube and they did not want to send it to me. So that's all I have for that one. And finally, Glossit Ceramic Detail Spray. The, this is made in Las Vegas in the US by Glossit Products. He does have an SDS for this. However, he is out of the office, out of town right now when I requested it. I will have it later and I will disclose anything that I find then but for now i don't have anything on this one so there we have it guys there is what is in the products in this test i'm going to go ahead and start to prep the hood get to installing everything i'm recording this on the 20th day of march 2022 going to install them probably the following day if not the day after so they'll have at least seven to nine days to fully cure in our shop before we move it outside. And as always, I keep a spreadsheet of everything. So if you wanna check out that awesome spreadsheet, go to the video description. And I do have a Google Docs file there for you guys to share, edit, 
look at whatever you need. So thanks again for watching and we will see you soon.